Uh, I don't know. It'll probably I doubt it'll show up. If it, if it is, it's okay. All right. All right. All right, guys. Hey, good morning. Good morning. This is Dr. Jake from Victory with Hannah Ashton. It's from her YouTube channel. And so uh, I, I was introduced to Hannah uh, about two and a half years ago, three years ago. And what I noticed about her was that this, this, was, a, this was a woman that had been, um, she just knew, like something in her heart just knew that she had to have a plan, that she has to have a purpose, that there's a deeper point of, of living what she how she does and so uh, we'll link to her YouTube down at the bottom but she's got some stuff to share with you today about goal setting and so uh, when I originally asked her um, I originally asked you would you do this for the kids that we serve here and then I started realizing then and when I met her with her this morning and she's got some amazing stuff to share with you I thought that man every single person in our practice could hear this and so um, if you don't know if you've never been to her YouTube channel before um, from um, reviews on different uh, items from uh, how to make a, a awesome facial you know my favorite video that you and, and what inspired me to do this was you have a planning calendar video right. yeah that's so good so uh, I just want to introduce uh, Hannah Ashton and she's got some sh stuff to share with you today about setting goals thanks so yes, yeah, setting goals for 2018. I talk a lot about goal setting and resolution setting all year on my channel, but here are some of my tips that I tell my viewers um, for the new year. So first off, um, setting SMART goals. So I know Maximize Living has touched on SMART goals before. Absolutely. Um, and they're super great. We do these at my school too every semester. And so basically SMART goals is an acronym for how to um, create good goals. Um, that are achievable. So the acronym is creating specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely goals. So you want to make sure that they're specific enough so that um, they can be measurable by a date or a number. Um, you want them to obviously be a realistic so that they're achievable. And then also set a time. So is it for all of 2018? Is it for only a week, a month? Um, maybe it's just your goal for the day. Because if you don't have a timeline on it, you'll never know. Like, exactly. Like, like you don't, you won't feel the urgency of it if you don't have a timeline on it. Exactly. Um, so setting smart goals is really important. And then my next tip is connect to your why. So why did you want to create this resolution or this goal in the first place? Um, for example, maybe your resolution is to eat the correct amount of servings of vegetables every day, which is a good specific goal for the new year. Yep. Um, so why are you wanting to eat healthier and eat those vegetables every day? Is it because you want to be healthy for your children? Is it because you want to um, you know, maybe lose weight for the new year? Whatever it is. But connecting to your why can help you stick to that resolution throughout the rest of the year yeah so why are you so why are you why why did God make you um, if, there, if you've been sick like I've been sick before and if you just you've struggled with health problems you got to have a bigger purpose because it'll never get you out of your um, it's never gonna get you over the hump and out of the rut mm -hmm. you have a bigger purpose and in, in, in not just like getting healthy not setting goals but how to live like what do you do what do you live for for sure um, and then my next tip is to create a mantra for yourself and this is something you can repeat to yourself um, Throughout the day whenever you're in a slump or anything like that So at the beginning of yoga classes, for example, they tell us to you know set a mantra for the practice like I am strong I am loved I am grateful and I find this is really helpful for whatever resolution you're setting So maybe your resolution is to you know focus on yourself more this year and self-love um, And so your mantra could be something like I'm going to I'm gonna focus on myself and love myself because God first loved me or mm -hmm. something like that and then if you're not really into setting resolutions or goals, one thing you can do that's a little bit smaller is to set a word or two words for your year. So I did this for my school year this year. And my two words were limitless and balanced. Cool. Um, because I know with God, you know, all possibilities are limitless. And I wanted to remember that this year. And then also balanced because I do a lot of different things being a senior in high school and I wanted to have a balanced schedule. So you can choose a word or two words for your year to focus on too. And then... My next tip is to set reminders throughout your day. Um, so I like doing this on my phone. I just be like, hey Siri, remind me to, you know, schedule, you know, a workout in the afternoon if that's one of your goals is to work out more or because I find a lot of times with resolutions, the, the reason people aren't keeping them is because they just forget, you know, if you're stuck. <laughs> Got it right there. <laughs> yes, right. If you're stuck in these bad habits for the last, you know, few years and you want to just quit cold turkey starting 2018, that can be really hard because you'll just forget that you're you'll forget to focus on the habit. So setting reminders with post it notes throughout your house um, while you're getting ready in the morning or just on your phone, on your lock screen um, can be really helpful. You know, there's, there's, there's people um, that 
shy away from that because they're so afraid to be like, they don't want to have, um, my wife used to say it was a burden to have a, this schedule because it was like, I don't want to live by a schedule or mm -hmm. whatever, but you won't get your stuff done if you don't have a schedule. For um, sure. <laughs> when I first started Victory, I literally had um, wake up at 7 o'clock or wake up at 5.30 or whatever it was mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, use the bathroom for five minutes and then alarm would go <laughs> off and then I would have to brush my teeth and I had a minute and a half or whatever it yeah. was to brush my teeth and it's like if you have those and once you once you have these reminders over and over again um, technology is, is such a is such a good um, blessing for all of us and so I know that a lot of times we think that technology is actually a burden and it keeps us busy but dude as far as a, just a, a reminder yeah. that's good stuff so mm -hmm. yep listen to this for woman sure. she's she's got her uh, head on straight and then my last tip is to create a healthy environment for yourself for your goal setting so if you're surrounded by a lot of negative people in your life or people that aren't always striving to better themselves or become a better version of themselves then um, it's gonna be really hard for you to do the same and to achieve these great goals that you set for yourself so surrounding yourself with people that love you love God and um, are always striving for the best is really important um, for reaching your goals this year so good so um you're just you're you're most like the five people that you hang out with the most mm -hmm. How, what the five people that you hang out with the most what are they like and then um i think it's so it's so important she's so she's so anchored in jesus and so anchored in christ that um for the first thing that came out was find somebody that knows Jesus or wants to have a relationship with him or or that's primary. So I don't care if, like if I wanted to make a million dollars or whatever, I mean, that's not my goal in life, but if I want to do that, then not only do I need to hang out with people that like make a million dollars, um, main thing I need to do is hang out with pe people that have the same morals and same characters and same passions and then ultimately that'll help you create your big why if you can find mm -hmm. uh, people around you that have big whys and so uh, once again so listen that's just a, that's just the beginning of 2018 and so can you believe that 2018 is here mm -hmm. and so um, it, wh the best time to start thinking about it the best time to start doing something about something anything is right now and so it's a good time to go uh, you'll get your calendars out go check out your schedule go start putting your reminder in like yep. Hannah said your get, get on your Siri app and just start telling Siri hey I gotta go to the gym on Thursday mornings at 8 30 whatever that is and then um, that's all I got for you today this is once again go to Hannah Ashton's YouTube we'll post that down below and if you have any questions about what she does who we are at Victory uh, you can always shoot us a message we love you guys have a great one thanks